Hey guys, what's up? My name's Upward Boss, and welcome to my 2019 game prediction video. First off, I'm not... I, this is like a no-cut video, so there's going to be a lot of ums and uhs. It's just kind of what I have to do. Um, also, I'm obviously not psychic. It's, a lot of these probably won't be true. But yes, go. Prediction number one of 20, there is 20, is that Anthem is a huge critical and financial success. I mean, I think the game looks amazing. Everything is pointing to this game just being a massive success. Like, they... they and. The way the developers are so... They're still open with the community. And I deeply respect that. I feel like the game looks fantastic. And yeah, I think the game's going to surprise everyone and just be a huge success. Moving on to number two, I think Crackdown 3 will disappoint. I think it will review pretty meh and it will be the next Sea of Thieves, State of Decay 2. Like, it could be great. It really could. But honestly, I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking, this is going to disappoint. It could not be. I keep saying this too much. Fuck this video! Anyway, moving on to number three. For Division 2 ends up being my personal game of the year. This is a very personal prediction. I think for Division 2... There's been story trailers, there's been Dark Zone reveals. This game just looks fucking incredible. And, I mean, the Dark Zone reveal was like 30 minutes ago, to be fair. I literally just watched it. I can't wait for this. I think the critic score will be about an 83. I forgot to do Metacritic scores for the first two. Fuck. Okay, Anthem is a 91, is my prediction. Crackdown 3 is a 70. And The Division 2 is a 84. That is my prediction. 84 on Metacritic for Tom Clancy's for Division 2. Me, personally, I can't fucking wait. Bring on March 12th. Anyway, moving on. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is a massive financial and critical success. Easy to predict. It's from software. People are hyped. And I'm predicting a 93 Metacritic for this game. I think it's going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah. I mean, a lot of the predictions for the first few, are just going to be like predicting a Metacritic score. Because I want to include these games, and then I'll be moving on to get release date predictions and all that. Anyway, moving on, it, on April 26th, Days Gone is going to be released, and I think it will be a moderate critical success. Just moderate. Um, I think it'll be like an 82 Metacritic. Obviously, I'm not going to predict Metacritic for some of these games, and you'll, you'll know why later on. But I'm looking forward to it. I think it looks fun. There was a new trailer today. I'm looking forward. I'm hyped. It's just not going to be like an amazing game. It, it, it'll be great. It'll be a good game. Anyway, moving on. Rage 2 is a moderate success. I'm going to say 75 on Metacritic. But does absolutely jack fucking shit to repair the toxic reception around Bethesda at the moment. Because Bethesda is shit. It used to happen recently. Controversial opinion. Anyway, moving on. Here's the point in the video. Where I'm going to start predicting some release dates for games that come out in the summer. And obviously these could be off, but this is just when I think these will release. Anyway, first off, we have a prediction number seven. Skull and Bones will release in the at the end of June this year. And I don't know about you, but I think this looks fucking awful. Like, if I'm going to be honest with you, this just does not appeal to me at all. It looks like... I don't know. It, it just looks really, really shit. It, it, yeah. I think it will get like a 67 Metacritic. This looks like a real disappointment. And in GI, I think one of the games that I am super, super anticipating, a game that I cannot wait for, but I only think it went up with a Metacritic around 80, and that's going to be Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. I cannot wait for this game. I lost my shit when it got revealed at the Game Awards. Uh, it, 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 it just looks fucking fantastic. It, it's a total return to this franchise that I just love, and... I couldn't be happier. I just, I just, I couldn't be happier. I can't wait for this game. 
Anyway, my prediction for this game, Therese, is at the end of GI, and that will be Control. Um, I think, unpopular opinion here, Quantum Break was good. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was bad. Um, I think this game will get an 85 or so on Metacritic. I think it'll be well received, honestly, because they're going to ditch the TV show aspect from Quantum Break. I, I think Control's going to be fine. Anyway, in August, I think the big game of the summer is going to be Death Stranding. Yeah, you know, I think Kojima's almost done with it. There's been hints that he's almost done with it. I think this is going to come out in August. I think it'll be like 93 on Metacritic. People are going to love this game. Um, Death Stranding, just, I'm excited, man. Like, just one of Ultimate Alliance 3 Control or Death Stranding releases in the summer, I'll be so happy. Yeah, like, this game looks fantastic. I cannot wait. Anyway, moving on. After that, we have... What I, we're moving on to full releases now. I think The Outer Worlds is going to drop in September. I think this will be like an 86 Metacritic is my prediction. Um, this video, I am just going rapid fire through this shit. We're already on number 11 and we're only 6 minutes in. I had yes to say when I thought I did. Um, this is going to be a shorter video, actually. Oh boy. <laughs> I need to catch my breath. Anyway. The Outer Worlds looked fantastic at the Game Awards. I'm confident Obsidian are going to give for a fantastic, full-out style space adventure. And I think it's going to be a real success. Moving on to more speculative shit. We're moving on to some games that haven't announced, been announced yet. But I think it will be released this year. And I think in October of 2019, a new Spinner Cell will be released. Now... Obviously, this might be totally off. Like, it's very, very possible that this doesn't even get announced this year. But I think it's going to get announced. It's been six years since Biakios now. It's time for Sam Fisher to make his return. Splinter Cell 7 is coming this year. That's one of my most outlandish predictions. Trust me, I've got some outlandish shit at the end of this video. But this is my big prediction. For Ubisoft's first main title of the fall. Because I think they're going to do two. And the other one is Watch Dogs 3. Pretty easy prediction this. Like, yeah, it's been leaked. It's probably coming this year. Not much to say. I enjoyed the first game. Wasn't fond of the second. And uh, the, the screenshot that you're seeing on screen is actually from the first game. Because it's a far better game. I I, I actually... not I, Did I actually play it? I don't remember if I said I played the second or not. But I didn't play the second. But I didn't think much of it. I thought it looked shit. Anyway. Moving on to prediction number 14. Batman Court of Owls is real. And comes out in October. Oh, shit. Obviously, I'm not predicting Metacritic scores at this point. Because we know nothing about these games. Um, Watch Dogs 3 is in November release. As, as a guess. But Batman Court of Owls is a October release. I'm going to be fucking excited for it if it's real. Hell, any DC game or Marvel game will get me excited, just the way it is. I think this is going to be great. All the Arkham games have been great, except maybe Arkham Knight. Hell, unpopular opinion here, Arkham Origins was better than Asylum. I'm saying it. Anyway, moving on, this is number 15 and 16 together. And there's a reason for this that will kind of be a bit more obvious later down the line. But... Uh, Respawn Entertainment are apparently launching two games this year. We know one of them is Star Wars Jedi Fully in Order, which I think is launching in November. And I think the other one will be Titanfall 3, which will launch in September of 2019. I don't have any images for Jedi Fully in Order, so just, just, just go with this for both. So I think my prediction for Respawn is that they announce... Titanfall 3 comes out this year, and so does Jedi Fully in Order. Anyway... Here is a big outlandish prediction. Sony are not just going to release the games that I've previously mentioned this year. They're going to release The Last of Us Part 2 in October. That's my prediction. I think the PlayStation 5 will be announced at some point in mid-2019. Full review of PSX. And the console releases in March 2020. Which leaves Last of Us and Ghost of Tsushima and Death Stranding, obviously, which I already previously covered, to release before March. I think Ghost of Tsushima is a 2020 game. 
I think it'll be February 2020, but I do think The Last of Us Part 2 will be a full title in October. But moving on, we only have three predictions left, and this will be that Gears 5 is released in October. This image is from Gears of War 4, actually. Um, and, yeah, I mean, this is pretty easy to predict. You know, Gears 5 is 2019. Gears 4 released in October. This one's coming out in October. Let's be honest. Um, obviously just games like Call of Duty and shit, I'm not even going to talk about because I don't give a fuck. Anyway, moving on to my Yas prediction, and it is the most outlandish prediction- Oh, sorry, my microphone moved. Uh, the most outlandish prediction out of all of them. Because if you noticed, I've done 18. No. 18 or 19? Fuck. I don't know. Xbox are going to release the new console this year. That is my prediction. The Xbox Sky, which I don't think it will be called that, will be a 2019 release. It's going to be 2019 before the PS5. And this is a horrible Yo Res image. Holy shit. Um, that's prediction number 19 on my yes. I don't know. I I've just got a feeling Gears. Gears 5 is the last major Xbox One exclusive in October. And the Sky it comes out in November with two excuses. At launch, day one. One of them is Fable 4. The new Playground Games game. I think it's Fable 4 coming out on the Sky. It might be pushed back to 2020. And be a, the second major game for the Sky. I think a launch title for the Xbox Sky is Halo Infinite. I don't think it's coming to the Xbox One. I don't think it's coming to Windows 10. I think it's going to end up being on the Sky as a launch title. Because having a Halo as a launch title is going to sell consoles. It really will. And I think it's just the way it's going to be. I think it will launch in November alongside the console. And yeah. Uh, I mean... I know there's the Play Anywhere program. And I just want to cover a few things before I end this video. I think the Play Anywhere program will stop. If I'm going to be honest with you. And it's just the way I think it's going to be. And yeah, obviously games I didn't cover here. Ghost of Tsushima, Beyond Good and Evil 2. Cyberpunk 2077 are probably going to be 2020 games. Yeah, I, if I'm going to be honest with you, I don't see them coming out this year. Uh, Cyberpunk maybe. I doubt it though. But, yeah, it's basically, this video was kind of rapid fire. Holy shit, it's only been 13 minutes long. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm shocked at myself for getting through these so fast. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm going to move on. I'm going to stream the Mortal Kombat 11 reveal very, very soon. Probably like 10 minutes after this video goes live. So, I will see you guys on the next one. Mortal Kombat 11 reveals today. I'm excited. Bye-bye.